Hey, this is CB Smallwood with uh, 100 Days of Making Comics. And unless I'm mistaken, I think this is day 20 for me. I don't know. I'd have to check. Uh, I'm not a guy who uh, always prepares properly like how we should. <clears throat> All right, right now, uh, what you're looking at is a sketch I did for um, a comic I'm working on, which is called Wildcat. It's about a character named uh, Wildcat. And, uh, well, basically, um, I was trying to change the page up from uh, this, where these uh, characters in front, the bad guys, they're covering up the main dude here. And so, <clears throat> what I was wanting to do is uh, kind of sketch out um, something different. And so I was kind of working on a little bit on the pose and, and kind of like the vibe of what I wanted to go with. And I think once I get that kind of figured out, then I'll go in and sketch in maybe the people later. <clears throat> um, and I took some uh, reference photos of myself uh, to help out with this. So yeah, there there's kind of where I'm at. And this is actually like page uh, four or five, uh, what, what this will end up being, I believe, anyway. Let me move this crap off here. Now, I'm kind of, uh, you know, pressed for time because uh, my son's been asleep for a little bit and it's getting time for him to, uh, uh, you know, he wants his bottle. Let's just put it that way. Um, and when he wants his bottle, he really wants his bottle. Okay, now what you're looking at is the next page that I am going to draw on the big uh, 11 by 17 paper. Here there is a bad guy. He's doing his um, villainous dialogue, pointing the gun down. Uh, here's the girl's head, uh, silhouette of the bad guys, and she's talking to the uh, bad guys. Uh, you know, they're still pointing stuff at her, and she's, you know, getting angry and probably telling them, you know, whatever they're going to do, go ahead and do it, that type of thing. Uh, here, uh, bad guy's holding a knife, and he's uh, giving his villainous dialogue. Uh, there, there she is, her head. There's her head again, and then the knife flips out. And um, you can't really tell, but this is a hand of Wildcat busting out of a grave. That was the uh, thumping noise, and these are the legs, the silhouette of the legs of the guys. I'm, you know, this whole page is not really the best page ever was, but you know, it's it's what I'm going with, and I'll I'll tinker with it as I go along. So let me go ahead and move this crap. See, I guess that's fine. I'll just have to work around the camera, I guess. Hopefully, maybe. <sighs> Make his head bigger. So, I wonder if you can even see that. Let's see here. All right, yeah, you can kind of see it like, like that. So, anyway, guys, um, I got to thinking about the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge, and other than uh, the productivity you can get out of it, I think one cool thing that I like about it that kind of favors uh, how I do things anyway is the fact that, uh, you know, everything about the 100 Days of Making Comics is about um, the work in progress, you know. It's not about a finished product. And so that's that's what I like about it is uh, 
that's right up my alley. I mean, like, I don't know if I, if I should say this because I don't want to discourage people about sharing their art or, or <laughs> the writing or, or colors or letters or, or whatever artist, artistic endeavor you do. I don't want to discourage you from doing what you do by this following statement. But something painful that I've learned uh, over the years is that Um, well, you, sh you share with people stuff that is a work in progress and you know, in your head, you know, what the final outcome is going to be. You got a, you got a pretty good grasp of it and you're excited about it and you really want to share with people, you know, what it is that, um, that you're doing and, you know, how far along you are and, and that sort of thing. Um, and the perspective on this is way off but whatever um but anyway you want to share with them you know where, where you're at on in your artistic journey and you show people what you're doing and they poo on it they either poo on it or they or they really don't have much to say about it um and to be fair you know um most people do not really uh, look beyond, uh, you know, what they see. And, you know, we, we live in a, uh, uh, a generation of where like, you know, everything has to be now. Everything has to be, you know, there's no time for dine-in restaurants. It has to be all drive through, you know, about three to five minutes or less, you know, and that's, uh, you know, that's sort of like the culture that we live in, you know, or at least here in the U.S. I mean, I don't know how it is, you know, worldwide. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not that same thing everywhere, but, but yeah. And so this, you know, give me now culture does not appreciate, you know, work some, uh, uh, a work in progress. And you know, how this ties into this conversation I'm talking about is like, you know, um, there's been many times when I've shared like music and, and art or writing or something with people and I'm expecting them to see the awesomeness, the, the, the potential of what it is I'm showing them. And instead they're not looking at the potential. What they're looking at is the reality. And like, for example, if I show this to somebody right now, uh, they would say, okay, uh, it looks like you need to finish it. I'm like, well, yeah, 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 but like, you know, what do you think about the layout? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, you guys kind of see what I'm saying. Um, you know, maybe, maybe I'm not making a good point here, but, but I do have a point. I will say that I do have a, a point to this whole conversation. Um, is that the thing that I've learned is uh, people don't want a work in progress. What they want is something as close to as a finished product as possible, um, because you'll you'll be judged harshly for it, you know. And and it's not something to moan and growl, uh, moan about or get upset about. You know, it's just you know just how things are. And uh, so the the tactic that I've taken is. I've made an effort to try to get things as finished and as done as much as possible before I show it to people. That was uh, until the 100 days of making comics. And I feel like the 100 days of making comics, the, the whole uh, spiel about this is like it's everybody's comic is, is a work of progress. So that, that's, that's the beautiful thing about it. I love that, you know. You, you don't have to be um, Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo, you know, when you show your stuff. You can just be, you know, regular old Bob and regular old Jane, and <laughs> and that's fine. That's great, you know. I love that. And um, let's see. <clears throat> Sorry, I kind of trailed off there. I heard some noise in the next room, and 
I had a, I heard a clatter and I went to go check on my son and it was my dog Hogan. He was uh he, he he's obsessed with Cooper's passies. It's like a uh, it's a little bit of jealousy, but it's also like I feel like he feels like he needs to he's entitled to share with what, you know, Cooper has. So <laughs> I heard this clatter, I go to check to see what's going on, and you know, he's up on the couch trying to look for you know Cooper's passy and we've went through like four or five passies now that he's stolen and you know we've had to throw them away I mean you know you don't want to give a baby a dog passy you know what I'm saying but so it's like constantly having to go out and buy more passies because your dog uh, has jealousy issues and like he, he also feels like, you know, he should be able to share in whatever, you know, Cooper has. So, let me zoom in here. Maybe this has helped you guys out a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me let me get back on topic here, and I'm really terrible with staying on topic. But, um, but the great thing about 100 Days of Making Comics is, you know, uh, you don't have to be a Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci. You know, you can just be regular old Bob and regular old Jane, and and it just draw your comics, and and not worry about like perfection. You know, 100 Days of Making Comics is not about perfection. It's it's about the journey. Which, I love that. That is awesome. It's just about, you know, trying to better yourself and trying to, you know, accomplish something, you know, and, and sharing it with the world to hold yourself accountable. You know, it's it's more, 100 days of making comics, in my opinion, is more about work ethic as opposed to, um, to some degree, to what you're actually, you know, the product that you're trying to produce, you know? And, um... I think that's a wonderful thing. You know, one of the biggest things that, that separate uh, the big boys from, I mean, the you know the, me, the the men of comics, the men and women of comics from from the little boys and girls, and I don't mean that in a in a mean way. I'm just saying the the thing that separates them is that that the men and women of comics they they have an excellent work ethic. You know, that's why they make comics for a living. They um. You know, they're dedicated to their craft and they just, you know, they stay on it, you know, that, that's, that's their job, that's their livelihood. And, and you have to develop a good work ethic in order to be successful, you know, you, you, you don't have like, you know, I mean, heck, I don't know, I'm not a professional comic book artist, but from what I gather, you know, you don't have editors uh, calling you every day, you know, to make sure that you're drawing and and that you're, you know, doing what it, whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, you know, art wise or writing wise or, or whatever it is, you know, you're expected to be uh, a fully functional professional who's ready to go out in the world and and do it do what it is that you do, you know. And uh, so, you know, that, that's another beautiful thing about 100 Days of Making Comics is it, it's about, in my opinion, one of the things it's about, it's about you, when I say you, I also mean me, um, developing a good work ethic um, so that you can be a successful, you know, comic artist or, or, or whatever. Comic artist, comic writer, inker, letter. And uh, I, I guess to bring the, the, the original point back home is I, I, I love how, you know, 
uh, I can just show you things as, a, as more of a work in progress as opposed to like a finished product. And, you know, that's, it's kind of liberating, you know. I can just go out and uh, do my thing and not worry about, you know, being judged, you know, and or, you know, people being dismissive of what, what it is I'm trying to show, you know. Which then again, you know, there might be some people who, who may just click on this video and it's like, ah, oh, this looks terrible, you know, and, you know, and I, I really, I, I don't have much control over that, you know, it is what it is. Let's see here. Hmm. Let me think. I need to think about this. Let me zoom out. All right, so that panel turned out that way with the original panel. See how much more space there is? And then in the one that I did, it, it, it morphed into that. Which I guess the dialog box could go right here. That's fine. Or it could go up here. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? I'll keep I'll keep playing with it here. I'm gonna see how this turns out. You know, I'm kinda curious. Um you zoom back in so you can actually see what it is I'm doing. There we go. Uh, I also want to say that I'm really enjoying, you know, the dialogue that I'm having with everybody um, that's taking the time to uh, comment on my videos and. Um, and also on different, you know, social media platforms and that sort of business, you know. Uh, you know, the feedback's been great. Uh, you know, actually better than, than, you know, what I thought that I was going to get, you know. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. That is the most unrealistic gun of all time. <laughs> and let me let let me show you in this right quick before I uh, go any further. Um, zoom out. I see. Dang it. Here we go. I do have reference for firearms. Um, I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm just slopping things down. I'll go back in, you know, later and like, you know, try to add in a lot of cool details and stuff like that. And I guess I'll go so far with it that, um, at some point I'll stop with the pencils and then I'll go into inking where I'll actually refine things a little bit and add, you know, a lot more, uh, details. Um... I was watching somebody's video. I can't remember. Oh, uh, I was watching. Um, I believe he goes by Gazbot. 
I was watching uh, Gazbot's uh, video, and uh, he had done, I don't know if he's still doing it, the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge, but uh, I think he's doing a thing right now where he is, um, uh, like, like, uh, like day one, day two, day three of like working as a comic book professional type series of video. So it kind of takes you on, on that journey and... Man, I'm forgetting what point I was getting ready to make. It wasn't a point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, he was uh, talking in his video, like, uh, I can't remember what day it was on, but um, he was going over his layouts, and uh, basically people were having a conversation in the panel, and uh, it was like a, like a roundtable conversation with all these different characters, and I don't know where it was taking place at, but um, he was talking about, like, there are certain rules to doing layouts and, uh, and you know, how like, you know, the way he was drawing something might violate this rule and that rule and all these different rules. And, and I was like thinking to myself, Oh boy, I, I know I'm doing stuff wrong, you know, because, uh, you know, I'm not really familiar with, you know, a lot of these, these rules, uh, you know, for, doing layouts let me zoom back in but um made me think of that and uh but anyway i watched uh i've been watching uh gazbot's uh channel uh and i've been watching let's say uh but yeah i've been watching uh gazbot's channel uh abe sapiens channel and uh, l l let me let me take a break from drawing for one second, you know, because I really want to get this out. Uh, Gazbots, Abe Sapiens, uh, Yanni Ma, uh, Yanni Ma. Uh, it's spelled. Uh, I know I'm not pronouncing it right. Yan. Yeah, it's double ends. But I've been watching his channel. Um, let's see. I've also been watching. Uh, I believe it's uh, Marshall Couture. And you know, you know what, Marshall? I finally got your name out. It's it's taking me forever. I keep wanting to call you Michael, but you know, Marshall Couture. Um, but yeah, Gaz, Gazbot. I believe that's right. Uh, Abe Sapien, uh, Jan Imal. I know I'm not saying it right. And who else? Uh, Marshall Couture. I hope I, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. You are C O U T U U. Okay. And, um, oh, yes, yes, uh, Ron Silva, and also, uh, KN Comics, uh, all these people right here have been doing the, uh, 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge, and, uh, uh, I think they've all given me like excellent feedback as well as, uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, Dave Hingley. H-I-N-G-L-E-Y, Dave Hingley. Uh, I haven't checked his channel yet, uh, out yet. I don't know if he's doing the challenge or, or, or if he just has awesome critiques, but you know, every one of you have helped me out. Uh, and, uh, I'm just now getting to where I'm checking out KN comics's, uh, channel. I, I believe that's the, the name that she goes by, but, uh, I forgot what point I was trying to make. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The feedback I've been getting is awesome. And I really appreciate all the feedback. Um, Let 
I'm going to try to be more, you know, uh, proactive in, in communicating with everybody and, and you know, and, and being part of this, this thing, this journey with everyone, you know. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Um... This video has gotten massive. It's like 25 minutes long. So I'm going to end this video. Uh, I feel like I have like, you know, plenty that I want to say. But uh, I don't really have... I, I'm afraid that most of you all is not going to watch uh, a 25 minute long video. And you're, you're going to get bored. So um, I'm sorry. It, it runs, uh, uh, runs over like that. You know, like... Uh, uh, sometimes it is what it is and it goes how it goes and also I'm trying to like draw this stuff and I guess I am living up to the challenge of uh, uh, <laughs> of drawing at least 30 minutes every day because it's you know that's what this uh, video is about timing out to be but anyway I appreciate the love that you all have showed me uh, and continue to show me and and, you know, even if you don't even uh, upvote, like, subscribe, follow, and all that good stuff, I really do appreciate uh, Yen's even taking the time to view my video. Um, and, uh, you know, I will take all the likes, upvotes, subscribers, and followers, and just views that I can get. And I, I really love the feedback that I've been getting from you all. It's been very helpful to me. But... Uh, I wish you all uh, great success on your journey as artists and writers and inkers and litterers and colorists. And, 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 and even if you're somebody just watching this video and you don't really do comics or anything have to do with comics, whatever it is you want to do in life, I wish you great success and, and you know, all that good stuff and all the good things that come with it. This is CB Smallwood, and I will see you again in the next video.